Hi guys, and today we will be looking at my second and last uh, centenary item from Hornby. The first one being the rocket, which you can see during the video, I'll pop up in the card and the end card. Um, but today we will be looking at um, the Hornby's wagon, and I'm expecting these to sell really well, just because uh, whenever Hornby um, release anything with a date or to celebrate something, they sell pretty well. And the prices go higher after years gone by. Same with the Christmas wagons. Um, so today we are looking at the Centenary open, wag uh, open van or open wagon, depending on how you describe it. Um, this is my take on the review. I have not been sent this. I've just bought out my own money. I got it from Rosa Sheffield for £14. Here is some model on the closed van, as Hornby have named it. I believe it's freelance. It's been going around from the early to mid 70s in various disguises, including um, sausages, Cadbury's, uh, reindeer, Kellogg's, and um, the 2020 anniversary one as well. You can pick them up really cheap. They've been going around for several years from like the 90, early 70s, and they're still coming out today, which is 2020. We will start off at the side of this um, open wagon, as it's called. Um, as you see, it has the uh, Hornby Centenary Year logo. It also has um, some logos from the past, which is Hornby Railways, which I believe was 90s, 80s, Dublo, which is 50s and 40s maybe. And we have Horn the Hornby of Trains, I think it is. Uh, th these will like to be stickers, the same on either side. There's no triangle one. I thought it was a triangle one there. There's no triangle one on there. The underframe detail is moulded, which we'll get into that later when I look at the underneath. It does have metal wheels. The underframe is, for mouldy stuff, highly detailed. It seems to be fresh than the other ones I have. The buffers are plastic and moulded. The roof has a few lines, which we'll get onto later on as well. Um, the reason I think the moulding is fresh is quite easily the doors. They look quite um, new and not worn in. As we move on to the ends of the open van or open wagon, depending on how Hornby described it, like I said, most of it is mouldy. We have a big decoupling, uh, which looks a little square than usual. We also have a plastic moulded pipe in the centre there. Uh, there's, a, there's a few wood lines, and uh, nothing really much to shout about here. Uh, there's nothing in the detail bag either. There was no detail bag. Um, so both sides are the same. As we look down on the van, there's nothing really there. There's a, a few lines across the roof. Uh, I think about 10 there. Um, there's not much detail to look at really. Uh, I thought I'd show you anyway. And finally, we move on to the underneath of the open wagon. And as you can see straight away, there is four, um, I believe, moulding marks in the centre. There, there and there. And they have tried to sand them down, but it looks nasty. Uh, there's nothing really there. Uh, I also expect some moulding stuff here, uh, like you got modern uh, coal wagons from Hornby, but nothing. You can see the, the big decoupling is in more effect here, um, at least you got the metal wheels.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session. Uh, just give you my opinions on um, the Centenary Wagon by Hornby. Uh, I, um, first off, I'll show you what I ran it with, which is the Christmas um, Santa Express, which is a Holden uh, 101 uh, that Hornby started to do around the same time as at this, um, I believe. And then I had a few other liveried ones that I've got, and I had an old Hornby um, brake van, Great Western brake van at the end. So we have the McRitches, the reindeer, which comes in the Christmas set. We also have the Cabris, and um, we've got the uh, Centenary one. I do have some more, uh, but they're the ones through the years, um, going from the 70s till now. Uh, my opinion on this, this will sell well. Um, it probably will in a few years um, expect a higher price for it. Like I said before, the Christmas wagons, they start around £14. In a year or two, they're touching 30 or even hundreds, uh, depending on the year. And seeing this is celebrating 100 years. This will pretty sell. Uh, this will pretty much sell well in high price, I think. So, only my opinion. Would I recommend one? Yeah, you're going to appeal to young kids, collectors, uh, people who like Hornby memorabilia, railway memorabilia, um, even old people. Um, you know who uh, had a few of them uh, as a kid. Um, so yeah, um, I highly recommend them if you're into that sort of stuff. If you're a, a, a true modeler and you, you don't really you know, want anything that looks like this, then no, it's not for you. Um, but it might be something to keep as a keepsake. Um, highly recommend it. I like said about £14 new as it stands. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my opinion. And I'll see you in the next video. So please take care and goodbye. Bye.